Thank you so much, Adam, for being here. First of all, can you tell us about Insight Global and what do you do there? Of course. So Insight Global, we are the third largest technical staffing firm in the country out of over 20,000 agencies. The industry as a whole, it's actually $250 billion U.S. industry, but it's a $480 billion global industry. It's actually larger than the entire entertainment industry combined, which is awesome how large it is. Um, our company, essentially, we started in 2001 um, in Atlanta. We've now grown to be as big as we are. We have 59 offices across the U.S. and Canada. We actually opened our 59th office this week um, in New Orleans. But, I mean, we've been ranked many, many years, one of the best companies to work for um, in consulting services and, and the style of what we do. But over the last three years, we've been ranked a uh, top company for women in the U.S. Our CEO has been ranked top company for women to report to in the U.S., top company for diversity last year, top company for career growth and professional development the last three years, um, top company for millennials the last two years, top compensation company the last two years. Because what's great about the company is we we essentially build personal friendships with hiring managers at the largest corporations in the country or even the world that have a U.S. presence. And when you build the relationship with them, we then, of course, hire people for their team. Um, and so that's kind of the too long, didn't read version, essentially. We're the glorified middlemen and women between the managers with hiring power and the candidates looking for jobs. My title is the National Town Acquisition Lead. So there's 45 of us around the country that are on the town acquisition team. We have just shy of 4,000 employees. And what we do is we basically find all the people um, from schools that are graduating or people that are looking for a new career opportunity and essentially and basically introduce them into the company, conduct the first two interviews with them. And then if we believe that they would be a fit for the company, we then actually partner with them and, and help our candidates go through the interview process to then get the job to start in our entry level recruiter role to then grow into our account management role. So. Awesome. That, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So when you're looking at a prospect intern or employee's resume, what are some signs that you may want to call them for an interview? So I would say um, it's kind of a loaded question for us because we hire off of intangibles, you know, like you could have someone who's got two degrees they're graduating with, multiple different types of internships, leadership in their organizations, great work experience. They're, they're well-traveled, studied abroad. But you could also see someone who is a first-gen college student and worked since they were 14 to be able to afford to go to school. Um, when we're really looking at you know, candidates for their potential to be an intern with the company or even just become an internal employee, what we really look at is the experience that they have. And then as we interview them, um, the signs that we really look really look for would be those intangibles, their soft skills, their hard skills, like everything within the experience that they have on their LinkedIn or their resume that has almost created the human that they are now, um, because those are the skills that we can't teach, the experience, the learning lessons, the adversity, the grit, the, you know, the hard work. Um, so a lot of different things, um, but it really is the core of, of the person and, and the value that they bring to the table is really what we look at when we're, of course, looking at their experience and then what they've learned from that. Okay, so um, how important is a potential candidate LinkedIn to your hiring process? Equal to a resume or less in, or more important? I would say it's equal, if not more important, um, because your LinkedIn is the one opportunity for you to put everything on, right? You know, like, which we're not the type of employers that only want to see a one one page resume because you might not include experience on that resume that could be relevant. Um, but like LinkedIn, for instance, it has ranked us many years in a row as one of the top five companies to use LinkedIn for an entry level job. Actually, Teen Vogue, um, I think it was either last year or the year before, wrote an article on our company and the other four companies and compared it to the Devil Wears Prada. Not in the bad way of having like a psycho boss, you know, um, but in the way of it being that this is that internship, this is that job that, that is really selective in, in hiring, but it's the job that if you get it, any company would want you if you ever left that company um, to essentially be working at that new company now because of what we teach and we train and it starts with LinkedIn um, we, we send out thousands of messages to candidates that we dive into searching through on LinkedIn um, and a lot of the people that we find for our job do come through LinkedIn outreach so 
Okay, thank you. Um, what kind of internship do you have for business majors, technical and not technical? So we, um, we offer a summer internship and our internship is actually essentially what the first two months of our entry level recruiter role looks like. You have a mentor, um, it's, it's full time essentially, Monday through Friday you get paid um, on an hourly wage, which is awesome, um, especially with today's times. Um, but we essentially hire interns almost as if we're hiring them for the full-time role, but it's for juniors um, in the summer in between their junior and senior year, or for seniors that are maybe doing like an extra half or full year of school. And when we hire them, the goal is by the end of those eight weeks to then offer them the full-time role to start with us once they officially graduate. Awesome. So has Inside Global hired an integrated business graduate? Oh yes, um, IB is probably the number one degree that we hire from at UCF, which UCF is actually the number one school our company hired from this year out of over 350 schools represented in our hiring class. It's been one of the top five schools for us for 10 plus years, I mean, we've been around for 20. Um, literally our original president who just retired was a UCF grad. We've got a lot of successful leaders in the company um, throughout multiple offices. Uh, that are UCF grads. Um, actually, for three to four years, uh, out of the 900 people that we have that do our account management role, the number one account manager in the country was also a UCF grad. <laughs> so, um, and a majority of the people that we do hire come from the integrated business program. The way that it's structured, how team oriented, how competitive, how how communication, it, it, it like communication focused, it really is. It really prepares candidates for the style of culture and the style of work that we provide. So long story short, yes, we love hiring IB grads. Awesome, that's, that's so nice to hear that. <laughs> yes. So what are some skills that your company looks for in a potential hiring candidate? Um, I, I wouldn't say that it's the strong technical skills that we look at, um, it, not in a sense that we don't care about that. It's more of the technical skills that have taught you things. You know, I think one of the biggest qualities we look for are people who are are leaders and you don't have to be in a leadership position to be a leader, right? Like a leader is someone who steps up to the plate in a time of, of someone needing help, you know? And like with you even being an IB, you probably see that with all the classes and the groups that you're in, you might not be the designated group leader, but there are gonna be situations where you step up as a leader and, and help your team, help guide your team, you know, maybe take on an extra task to help another person. I would say that that's definitely one of the biggest uh, skills that we look for. I think another one is grit. And what grit means to us is passion and perseverance to hit long-term goals. So people who really have that thick skin to, to push through adversity, to push through uncontrollables and challenges and, and really work proactively and positively to find solutions. Um, but also skills would just be the intangibles, you know, like being personable, being positive and, and vibrant in the way you communicate, but also just being really hardworking, you know, working with a sense of urgency. Uh, someone who's coachable and able to receive feedback and implement that feedback. Um, a lot of the core values, I feel like through the experience that people have learned is what are the types of skills that we really look for. Okay, sounds good. So how helpful, how helpful is, is it for a job candidate's chances to get hired to have at least one internship on your resume? It's definitely important. Um, we, uh, when you think about it, if someone doesn't have internships, there's, there might be a reason for that, right? Like, kind of like I mentioned earlier, like I literally have hired someone who started working at Dave and Buster's when she was 14. The only, and she was actually an IB grad. Um, she, uh, she, she started working at Dave and Buster's when she was 14. She went to Valencia her two first years, finished at UCF and graduated with an IB grad or with an IB degree. And when she graduated, she worked at Dave and Buster's until the Friday before she started with us on Monday. And because of that work experience, like she wasn't able to have internships and join organizations because she, she had to pay for everything on her own. So when you think about that, like that is something that's important to us, even though it wasn't an internship, it's experience, you know, that, that she's been able to learn things in that situation that caused her to have the life that she had that brought her to us to be successful here. But I would definitely say whether it's an internship, organizations, just any type of experience is super important uh, for us when we look at resumes. Okay, awesome. So when interviewing a prospective em employee, what are some actions that can make that person stand out? Um, I would say when interviewing, it's the passion behind your experience. You know, like any type of question 
anybody can answer exactly what you want to hear. You know, like if I were to ask, like, why are you interested in this job? You could say, well, you guys facilitate a culture of hard work and I'm a really hard worker. It's like, yeah, that is a perfect answer. Right. But the passion and the proof behind it, like I'm a really hard worker. Like I had to dumb down my resume from size from font 12 to font nine to fit all of my experience to make it one page. Like I have always been the person that steps up to the plate. You can see the multiple jobs that I helped through school, the two internships, the organizations, and I'm still graduating in four years. Like that is proof that I am a hard worker and I'm someone that loves putting myself out there and loves being someone who's going to be able to, to accept the challenge and, and grow myself. And, and what I love about your company being Insight Global is, is you guys facilitate a culture of hard work. Like you want people to get out of their comfort zone and take on challenges and, and work through those challenges. Both of those answers are kind of mean the same, but do you see the proof and the passion behind one versus just you said what you think I want to say in the other? So I would say like giving that as a verbal example, that's what I think makes candidates stand out is when they provide the proof and relate it to the job and how it's relevant and how it will make them successful. Awesome. So what are some things that a college student that is interested in working for your company can do to get their foot in the door? Um, one, reach out to the person that's hiring um, from, you know, from their school. So like for UCF IB, for instance, you know, so many different ways you can get in contact with us. You can apply on Handshake. You can apply on um, Nightline, you know, for being in, in CBA. You can reach out to me directly. You can see if you have any friends that currently work here, have worked here, are already hired to start working here when they graduate. So you can go directly to our website and apply. Um, so I think that those are kind of the best things. But also, I have just such great partnerships on campus already. Like, I work with Chris Leo. I work with... Uh, Dr. Creaky, you know, Carlos Valdez, I have great relationships within the Career Center at CBA, Tiffany Hughes, the COO, you know, Stephanie Nicholson, Denise McFadden, um, uh, Jessica Dorney, Jennifer John, like there are so many people that I have working relationships with. Uh, so I think that really utilizing your career sources on campus too will help you get your foot in the door with any company because those are the relationships that we have. And those partnerships are going to know the best candidates that are going to be interested in this. And through that relationship, they're going to want to send candidates to the employers that they have great friendships with, too. Awesome. Th those were all my questions, Adam. Thank you so much. Awesome.